Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy Wyatt. Jeremy, hey. Jeremy Wyatt, what in the world was that? I mean, Rory Fox, that's a hell of a performance on his part. He went out there, he beat 11 other men in a battle royal, came out later in the night, wrestled the match of his life against you, had you beat with a Texas Cloverleaf submission hold, some shenanigans you pulled poking the ref in the eye or something, and all of a sudden you hit him low, roll him up, and get the duke. That is totally disrespectful and extremely unsportsmanlike. You can't be proud of that victory. I'm completely proud of that victory. I am 100% proud of that victory. See, I'm the one who is at a disadvantage. I didn't know who I was going to have to prepare for tonight. I basically had to study each and every person in this locker room. That was his second match, and you were the 12th opponent he fought tonight. Was Jeremy Wyatt in that battle royal? No, absolutely not. I mean, it was a... Then it was basically a warm-up match. A warm-up match? A warm-up match. I wasn't in that match with him. He was in there with 11 other rummies. See, all that did, that was a warm-up for him. They got his blood flowing. You see, I was at the disadvantage. I've never seen the guy. All you got to do is type in Jeremy Wyatt on YouTube. There's hundreds of clips of me. Who's Rory Fox? What am I supposed to know about that guy? I saw him in a three-way last month. How am I supposed to scout somebody like that? Huh? I mean, he's incredibly experienced, Jeremy. He's been in the business for 10 years. You could pop his name in the YouTube and, and find all sorts of videos as well. I mean, you could have scouted the guy if you wanted to. You could have scouted every man in that battle royal if you wanted to. But what do you think I did? Why do you think I came out on top? See, I did my homework on Rory Fox. It's not my fault that he wasn't wearing a cup. Why would he be wearing a cup? Because when I hit him in the balls, it wouldn't hurt so bad. Well, unfortunately, Jeremy Wyatt's still our heavyweight champion, but I hope Rory Fox gets another shot here in the near future because, quite frankly, I feel he deserves it. And I got through here with Rory Fox in one of the most remarkable one-night performances we've ever seen here in 3X Wrestling. Rory, you open the night here at Halloween Horror 3 by winning the Battle Royal to get a shot at Jeremy Wyatt's heavyweight title in the main event. Wyatt jumps you from behind after the match. You forge on. You face Wyatt. A remarkable matchup. You've got him beat with the Texas Cloverleaf submission hold. He, he's tapping out on the mat, but apparently he raked the ref's eyes yeah. before that. He, suddenly he low blows you and rolls you up for the pin. I mean, it's got to be totally disheartening for you. Okay. I win a battle royal. I go through 3XW's best. I win the battle royal to receive a title shot that night against the rebel Jeremy Wyatt. Okay? He tapped out. 
and I'm not the new champion. He tapped out, then he conveniently raked the ref's eyes. Oh, that's when he actually did tap out. He raked the ref's eyes. Then he taps out, and then when I check on the referee, because I thought I was heavyweight champion, but I don't hear a bell ring, I check on the referee, I get, ooh, low blow, one, two, three. Rebel Jeremy Wyatt, I'll give you credit. You are the champion. There's a reason you're the champion. But you didn't beat me fair and square. But then again, I know, I know. I've been around the block. I've had a 10-year career. I've been loved by the fans, but I've also been hated by the fans. And I did some things. I did whatever it took to retain the title. So fine, Jeremy Wyatt, you did that tonight. Congratulations. Jeremy Wyatt, whatever rules you want to play by now, I don't care. You just tell me what they are, brother. You want a street fight? You want a submission match? I don't care. Just give me a rematch. I've won titles all over Texas, Ohio, and it's time I win one in my home state of Iowa. So Rebel, Jeremy Wyatt, if you got the guts, give me a rematch. See if you can beat me for a one, two, three again. Hello wrestling fans and welcome to another exciting edition of Outside the Ring live from the 3X Wrestling Studios. I'm Midnight Guthrie with my broadcast colleague Chad Milan. And Chad, a star was born at Halloween Horror 3. Absolutely. Jeremy Wyatt became the biggest star in 3XW history as he took down that MTV wannabe Rory Fox. Well, it's not where I was going with that. Rory Fox won a battle royal, defeated a whole roster of the top athletes in the Midwest to open the card. He went on to the main event to face Wyatt in probably one of the best 3XW title matches we've ever seen. He came, as you heard, very, very close to winning the title, in my opinion. But Wyatt came out the victor on that match. But as we know now, it's official. 3XW officials have signed for November knockout on November 20th at the Des Moines Social Club. Our main event... For the 3XW heavyweight title, the Rebel Jeremy White defends one more time against Rory Fox. That should be a fantastic match. As we saw, the crowd was hot for that match, Absolutely. believe me. That's, that's one of the hottest crowds I've seen in quite some time. And Rory Fox is one of the top athletes and top wrestlers we've seen in 3XW in quite some time. And as you heard, he is really fired up about a, a possible rematch. And now we know he's gotten it. So he got his wish, and I'm excited to see what happens at November Knockout. Street. 
right now because you're probably scared of death. Probably piss yourself. Let me tell you right now. If this is a way to get rid of the terror and the reign of Todd Countryman, I see fit. I will accept those terms. And I'll tell you right now, this man right here is going to be ready to go next month. That's man number one. Once again, absolute total chaos here in 3X Wrestling. Mad Dog McDowell, it was so scheduled to be you against Mark Sterling one-on-one, -on -one, and then that goon commissioner Todd Countryman inserted himself in the mess, put Casanova in there with Sterling, the Gentlemen's Club together, battling you in a handicap match, despite a valiant effort on your part. I mean, what could you do? I mean, you can't two men on one. That's ridiculous. Then President Skylar Pierce said he's had enough of this mess, challenged Countryman to a six-man tag team match next month where his team faces the Gentleman's Club and is commissionership against presidency of 3X Wrestling. So we could finally rid 3XW of Todd Countryman. And at the very end, broken foot and all here, Jimmy Rockwell came to the aid of Mad Dog McDowell. He shattered a crutch in the ring, and he actually caused lacerations in Mark Sterling's legs. He's got to get stitches now. I mean, quite a night here, and I mean, President Pierce. I mean, clearly things have gone too far. Well, things have gone too far, and November 20th, we're going to take care of business. It's going to be three on three. It's going to be the elimination match, and who knows, maybe Todd Country might get in a corner that he can't get out of. And we understand right now, we know it's going to be Jimmy Rockwell making his return in that match, teaming with Mad Dog McDowell in a, I believe it's a mystery partner, is that correct? Well, that's correct, Midnight Guthrie. You know, uh, they've had a lot of, uh, you know, sneaky ways over the years, you know, the Gentleman's Club, and, you know, it's about time that they get a surprise on them. Now, Jimmy... I mean, we saw in September, countrymen work together with Casanova to break your foot and end your almost record cruiserweight title reign. I mean, you, you must be wanting some sweet justice there in November. You know, this match in November is just what I was wanting. Anything I can do to get hold of any member of the Gentlemen's Club, I'll do. Well, it'll be a phenomenal six-man elimination tag team matchup at November Knockout. 3XW President Skylar Pierce, you want to make a challenge to the Gentlemen's Club? You're going to challenge us to a six-man tag with this man, the yeah. cruiserweight champion, Casanova. Yeah. Two-time cruiserweight champion. Yeah. That's right. He's a man of many words. Tonight, you brought that cripple, Jimmy Rockwell, to the ring, throwing that metal crutch around, broke it, shard of metal right... He right. suspended. He should be. The metal went right into Mark Sterling's thigh. 17,000 stitches was the count I got. Ridiculous. Gage Octane, suspended this month by President Pierce. You know, I'll be glad to get this match going with you, Pierce. Six-man tag, the loser, leaving 3X Wrestling. I won't have to see you waddle down to the ring, interfere in my business, cost me money. Good riddance. Well, as you saw, it was complete chaos at Halloween Horror 3, the situation involving Skylar Pierce, our 3XW president, and 3XW commissioner Todd Countryman, who is the leader of the Gentleman's Club. Lots of wild and woolly action in that footage. And well, that... wait a minute, wait a minute. Todd Countryman, the leader of the Gentleman's Club, he's the leader of 3XW. Well, I mean, him and Skylar both have a lot of power here, Chad. Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, I'll give you that. They got a lot of power. Skylar's got a lot of power at the buffet tables. Skylar's got a lot of power within, you know, shoe stores. But 3XW, uh, come on. The president of 3XW, Skylar Pierce? Yeah, I mean, come on. he's had a long and illustrious reign as president. It's been about two years it's now. illustrious indeed. 
my cousin wait a minute let me go off on a tangent here my cousin oh, so much better than skylar pierce he's he's quadruple he's he's a quadrifant the time man that that skylar pierce is a quadrifant look that one up i made it up but it's a large number we'll consult your local google search but at any rate we now know the mystery partner is going to be mad dog mcdowell's horn dog's partner himself crotch and that it makes it really interesting dynamic. I mean, we've seen the Horn Dog split victories with Mark Sterling and a Gage Octane in tag team action in recent months. Not to mention what's going on with Jimmy Rockwell and Casanova. I mean, Casanova ended Jimmy Rockwell's cruiserweight title reign at 14 months. He was one month away from tying the record 15 month reign that Casanova holds. In the process, Todd Countryman and Casanova broke Jimmy Rockwell's foot due to some uh, interference on Countryman's part and some work by Casanova, and, I mean, it, it's just... Wait a, a minute, wait mess. a minute, wait a minute. Interference, underhanded tactics, Midnight Guthrie, yeah. come on now. We saw Todd Countryman break Jimmy Rockwell's leg oh, like on. a chicken bone, single-handedly, I might add you, and this had nothing to do with the match there. I've seen Jimmy Rockwell always talks about how tough of an individual he is. Granted, I'm sure he was. Todd Countryman snapped his leg, snapped his leg with about four fingers, and it was it was one of the greatest nights in the history of 3XW. I'll go on record to say that. You're totally out of your mind. Sometimes. Out of I mean, my Todd mind. Todd Countryman couldn't break anyone's leg on his own. It was single-handedly. At Halloween Horror 3, Jimmy Rockwell, with I don't know where that strength comes from, breaks a crutch. It shrapnel, crutch shrapnel, uh, lacerates Mark Sterling's leg. He had stitches put into his And leg. that's, okay, you want to talk about cheating. How about a foreign object to a man's leg? And he wasn't even involved in the match there. Jimmy Rockwell has to bring weapons to a wrestling match, okay? This isn't hardcore wrestling, all right? We're not marketing this to a bunch of idiots out there as much as your fans are idiots. Uh, they might want to see something like that. I like to see good, old-fashioned, wholesome wrestling. And I predict that the Gentleman's Club will run Skylar Pierce out of this company. I, well, I, I mean, I take that back there. Skylar Pierce certainly won't be running anywhere. They might have to ship him out or something. Well, personal issues aside with the wrestlers, the important thing here is if Skylar Pierce's team wins, Todd Countryman is no longer the commissioner of 3X Wrestling. But if the Gentlemen's Club wins, which they're a, going to a very strong strong trio then skylar pierce loses the presidency of 3x wrestling and he's gone he and he's gone that's see those are words i like to hear so on november 20th at november knockout it will be a phenomenal six-man elimination tag team matchup we'll see you there <laughs> Sexy and uh, smooth. Yeah, be quiet, man. They'll hear you. I'm here with Sexy and Smooth. Now, tonight, you guys won the belts. You won them cleanly. Yep. We've got the finest in Canadian beer, Canadian wine. We found ourselves a nice little party room here. We're going to have yeah. a celebration. We got groupies. We got everything going on here. Yeah. But we got to keep it quiet because we don't want any uninvited people. Yeah. Some people are actually dumb enough to think that we didn't earn these. It's unbelievable. You guys won those cleanly. You won those fair and square. I'm like, clean. I can even contest that decision. Yeah, I agree. Where's your belt? I put it in my bag. I wrapped it up in the towel so it didn't get scratched. That's smart thinking. We probably gotta get out of here soon. Where's the party? I smell little people. Should probably get out of here. Oh, yeah, no, I hear them. That's definitely less than 81 kilos worth of weight. We got heightened Canadian senses. It's okay. We got to go. we got to take this party elsewhere. <laughs> Hi, 
everybody. John Bond back here on 3XW. Just uh, what a show. Wow. I mean, it was unbelievable. We got, we got something going out in the hallway here. Yeah, we got the high flyers here. Where are you? They're, they're apparently looking for sexy and smooth. Looking for their title belts. You guys seen Smooth and Slade? No, I haven't seen them, guys. You see him, Zach? No, where's that pussy to hang out with that? Mike Irvine, where's he? It's, you gotta, how do we get in here? They oh, camera. Hey, Smooth and Slade, I know you guys watch outside the ring every month and you think you're smart, you think you're clever because you ran off with our titles. Well, taking the belts doesn't make you the champions. Earning them, working hard and fighting makes you the champions. And when we see you next month, you better be ready because now you're on our hit list. Chad, that was some crack reporting work by Mike Irvine there, your good friend, helping Sexy and Smooth celebrate and, and quietly celebrate, I should say, and hide from the High Flyers after Halloween Horror 3. I mean, they stole the tag team titles. They didn't even win them fair and square. That was ridiculous. Stole the tag team titles? Do you understand what Canadian rules are? They won those tag team titles fair and square. I don't care what you say. And that's just a controlled celebration. I mean, the celebrating was going to be later to come. I mean, that's just the small little gathering before the actual party. Did you go to the party? No, I didn't go Pancakes to the party. Pancakes and maple syrup abound, Midnight Guthrie. Sounds it was like a night at Perkins. It, well, it was in a Perkins, but thank you very much for being such a giant bag. Well, at any rate, another gentleman who's had his troubles recently here at 3X Wrestling is unfortunately my good friend, Delicious Devin Carter. He picked up a big win over Brady A. Desire at Halloween Horror 3, but... He's lost twice in the last three months, losing the heavyweight title to Jeremy White in his first defense, I should say. And then the following month, he lost in that triple threat match to the debuting Rory Fox, who pinned him right in the center of the ring. Well, yeah, you're, uh, your boy isn't looking too confident right now, is he? Well, he's, he's not doing so hot, is he, anymore? Well, at November Knockout, he can really turn things around as he gets a shot at Craig Kiesman's pure wrestling title. I mean, Craig Kiesman, though been undefeated for over 14 months of action going on 15 now and as you'll see in my comments here with Devin Carter this is a rare situation where he's actually an underdog in a match and I don't know if that's ever happened in the last two and a half years of 3x wrestling well you know what you are right about that Devin Carter certainly hasn't been an underdog in some recent memory here in 3xw but Craig Keesman Craig Keesman is the human battle axe my friend Craig Keesman has been tearing up the competition destroying them one by one by one as they all fall in a line and I'm sure that it Pretty soon, he's going to get himself a shot at the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. Well, Craig Kiesman's been a, a, a pure monster, that's for sure. And here's some thoughts from Devin Carter regarding his upcoming match. Midnight Guthrie here with my good friend, former three-time heavyweight champion here in 3X Wrestling, delicious Devin Carter, who, you know, Devin, quite frankly, you've lost twice in the last three months, but tonight you had an impressive victory over Brady A. Desire, and next month now you get a shot at Craig Kiesemann's pure wrestling title, but to be honest, kind of a rare thing here. I, I, I'd have to say you're probably an underdog, my friend. Underdog? I mean, Craig Kieseman has not lost a match here in 3X Wrestling in, in over 14 months of competition. He had a hugely impressive victory over Tyler Cook tonight. And I mean, you're, you're the most decorated heavyweight champion we've ever had, but Craig Kieseman is just a monster right now. You know, Guthrie, you bring up a good point. You know, two months ago, I was climbing this ladder in this dog collar match, dropping this leg down on Casanova. Boom! Winning the 3XW heavyweight title back. But as soon as I jumped off that ladder, apparently, that's what I feel like my career is doing. I was up high, boom, I lose to Jeremy Wyatt. Damn, just like that. Well, quite frankly, it was, I think, the shortest title reign for the heavyweight title yeah, we've ever yeah, had. it was a month. It was a month. Then I come in the next month, three-way, Tony Sly and Rory Fox. I don't know. I wasn't, Rory Fox coming off the top, boom, one, two, three. I don't know if I wasn't training hard enough. I don't know if, if I'm at, you know, like maybe when I was on top of that ladder looking down on Nova, 
Maybe that was at my peak. I don't know. But you know, coming in tonight, Brady A. Desire, feels good to get, get back on the winning track, have Keisman next month, mm -hmm. and... You know, I, I'm really pulling for you here at November Knockout because, quite frankly, you, Underdog? You, really? Re you really haven't been yourself as of late, Devin. I mean, you just... Was it because I threw Tyler Cook out of the Battle Royal? Well, that was very uncharacteristic. What yes. What you're supposed to do. But what I'm saying, I mean, you've lost some matches, you're kind of down in the dumps, and you're just not, not the same guy that was heavyweight champion. You know, Guthrie, like I said... It's been a rough, it's been a rough three weeks. I'm still the same guy that I was. I'm still the former, the uh, former. I was, I'm still a three-time 3XW champion. I'm still that same guy. I'm still that freaking same guy. Give me some time. I'll get my head sorted out and fix this. All right. Well, hopefully Devin Carter gets back on the winning track, back to his old ways here at November Knockout against Craig Kieseman for the Pure Wrestling title. Uh, Really? Yeah. Midnight Guthrie here with the Laotian sensation, Ricky Kwong, who should be totally ashamed of himself. Aaron Masterson, the crowd loves this guy. He comes running out of the crowd like a wild man, a house of fire, and you crack the man with a chair. How dare you? What is wrong with you? First of all, who are you to interview me? I don't want you to interview me. I want you to get out of my face right now. I want a man with true integrity, with honor, and a man that I know that has my back in battle. Chad Mylan, my new best friend. All right. Well, obviously, uh, now that Todd Pettengill has left the building, thank you very much, we're now watching the Laotian sensation, Ricky Kwong, take 3XW by storm, thank you very much, and he might think it's despicable, he might think that your action's outrageous, but I think it's family-friendly entertainment. We saw you take that joke of a wrestler, Aaron Masterson, scramble his eggs a little bit, maybe knock some sense into that little kid, and then we saw you get the one one, two, three. So I gotta ask you, I have to know, what's next for Ricky Kwong? Total domination. Last month, I embarrassed you, Aaron Masterson. This month, I destroyed you. And next time you get in the ring with me, I will retire you, okay? And man, it feels so good to let all this aggression out. And to think I wasted three years of my career to pleasing those those ingrates of a fan out there, okay, who really laughed behind my back when they were cheering, okay? And you know what? I don't care anymore. This time, I will destroy anybody that gets in my way. You saw what I can do when I'm motivated. So bring on the next challenger, and I want gold. That's right. You heard it here, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Next month, Ricky Kwong is going to retire somebody. You can guarantee it, because Chad Milan said it. Well, Chad, some ally Ricky Kwong found there in, in yourself. I mean, I don't know if I'd really want to go into battle with you, but he's a tag team specialist in the past year in 3X Wrestling, but certainly he's showing he wants to be a dominating singles force in the 3X Wrestling ring. Well, Ricky Kwong has got all the talent in the world. He just needs a mind to get where he needs to go. And believe me, with me helping him along in the backstage area, I, there's no need for me to be out there in front of the ring to be with him. He's got all the information right up here. As soon as that match is over, you can believe that we're discussing, we're highlighting things, we're talking about it. And did you see what he did to Aaron Masterson? That, that was quite... Fantastic no, that is what it was. was despicable, actually. I mean, That's Aaron terrible. Masterson, everyone loves Aaron Masterson. To, to destroy that guy? Come oh, on. yeah, the hospital nurses were very enamored with Aaron Masterson with that concussion problem that he had. Which, speaking of that concussion, he's probably not even going to be there. I don't think he's even got the guts to well, show. We do know at this time his status is unknown as far as being able to compete on November 20th at November His, his self-awareness is unknown is what we it is. We wish him the best in his recovery. We sure do. Anyway, here's some brief messages, and we'll come back to finish up rounding up the show.
That's ridiculous? Yes. What is ridiculous is your tie. What is ridiculous is the fact that you have a job in this company. What is ridiculous is the stupid, retarded look you have on your face right now wondering what I'm saying to you. What is ridiculous is you're still holding this microphone and let me talk down to you like you're some kind of chump, which you are. I'm just doing my job, Jeremy. I'm a professional. I'm here it's to do it. It's Jeremy, not Jeremy. You don't do your job very well. Who am I wrestling next month? Hey. You don't know. Do your job. You don't know either. I don't care. I'm the champ, baby. It doesn't matter if it's Rory Fox, Mark Sterling, Gage Octane, Devin Carter, Sue Carter, Ellen Carter, Tyler Cook, you little punk. Come on back so I can beat your ass. It doesn't matter who it is. Well, hello, wrestling fans. It's a fantastic night of wrestling brought to you by 3X Wrestling live at the Des Moines Social Club, November 20th. It's November Knockout. Doors open at 7 p.m. Tickets available at the door at Jay's CD and Hobby in Des Moines or even at 3XWrestling.com. You can now purchase tickets online for all our upcoming events. Nice. As we've mentioned previously in the show, on November 20th, you're going to see for the pure wrestling title, Craig Kiesemann defending against Delicious Seven Carter. The tag team titles on the line as the High Flyers defend against Sexy and Smooth and hopefully regain physical possession of their tag team titles. It's a six-man elimination tag team match, Presidency versus Commissionership. It's the Gentlemen's Club with Commissioner Todd Countryman against the Horn Dogs and Jimmy Rockwell with 3XW President Skylar Pierce. And in the main event, a rematch of all rematches, Rory Fox takes on the champion, the Rebel, Jeremy Wyatt, the 3XW Heavyweight Champion. All that and more on November 20th at November Knockout. Well, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Video Warehouse and JCD and Hobby. Visit 3XWrestling.com for the latest match of the month, my Midnight Madness column, and all the upcoming info about the card as well as further announced matches. I'm Midnight Guthrie. For Chad Milan, thank you for watching 3XW Outside the Ring.